Greetings all, Vanny here for Taurus's weekly message. Taurus, I hope you guys are going to have a good week. What is the first message that we're coming out with today? Okay. I'm not quite sure which orientation this one is going to be, so I'm going to show you guys a trick that I've never done on here before. If you're not quite sure about what orientation your card is going, just toss it up and it'll land again. Thank you, spirit. So the two cards that came out for you today, Taurus, have a very similar color combination, and I'm definitely seeing where it's coming from. The first card that I want to pull up, point out to you today is the star card, and I have to be careful with this one because this deck shows a lot of the body. The star card very much um, is the embodiment of the inspiration, the star being herself is a form of inspiration from the gods and goddesses. I especially love it coming out for Tauruses because the goddess of inspiration, Caridwyn, is a huge, like, uh, well, inspiration for this particular tarot deck, the Celtic Tarot. The goddess of inspiration is coming out for you indeed. While I am not seeing the Alwyn, I'm being very drawn to the um, voodoo doll behind her on the tree and I really am noting that like the tools are there for you to do what you need to do get creative and you can really make something out of something completely different I'm really feeling like that doll was once made out of straw or hay and something someone completely overlooked but with care attention details and patience it can truly be crafted into something incredible there is a counterpart coming out for you here, my love, with the King of Cauldrons, and I have to cover up his manhood. The King of Cauldrons represents the Divine Masculine's fulfillment and awareness of their emotions and energies. The cups, of course, being associated with waters, emotions, our emotional selves, and how we express that. So often men and those in the divine masculine energies, like very ambitious women like myself, have a hard time letting themselves feel those emotions that the human mind identifies as weaker, such as crying, being sad, anxious, afraid, angry. We associate that as weaker emotions, but they are still part of our human experience. And as emotions are energy in motion, they have a right and need to be felt and actualized. So when you are feeling that, that stress to cry, you have to allow yourself to cry. If the world is becoming very stressful, you have to say that. You cannot put on that big mask of, I'm awesome, I'm the bull, I'm going to get this shit done. Yeah, you're going to get this shit done, but you won't be able to get everything done if you don't allow yourself some time to rest. Even the matador has to rest between his rounds. My love, you cannot just plow through everything as much as I know you want to. Right now is a moment for concentration, not so much isolation, but again, inspiration. The King of Cauldrons could also be, as I mentioned, a romantic counterpart. I'm seeing 1221 on my clock, and I'm very much feeling like if you are ready for a new connection, there's something that's going to be starting to ghost your path. Like, <laughs> yeah, Three of Shields. Don't be afraid to open up and share your story, love, and energy and work with people. Because even there, we have the Alwyn coming out, which is the representation of Caridwyn, her, her um, Alwyn of inspiration. It is coming out for you, but I don't want you to be so guarded that you're not going to allow someone to see that wonderful, beautiful side of you. I know how scary it is to be vulnerable, to be exposed like that, especially in a sense of a relationship. But there are some who will see you and love you. It is up to you to decide if you are ready for that. So you, that is why you have letting go coming out here with the spirit guardian of autumn. And I like that 35 is a counting up to 8, which is the strength card, which is also um, 17, which is a counting to 8 on the star card. So that's two 8s representing to you. You have some incredible strength, my love, 
as well as knowledge that just cut from the deck. Like I was saying with the with the Hey Doll, you already have the tools, the skills, the connections. You have to claim it and make it into something. Someone who wants to blow glass cannot just look at all the sand and pieces and colors and say like, yeah, okay, this is a vase. No, you have to do the work along with it. The turning, the the heating, the stretching, the blowing, you have to do the work. And yeah, you might make some mistakes, but that is how you are going to learn, my love. And similarly with this king of cauldrons in reference to a romantic counterpart, you have made mistakes in relationships in the past, but that is to, to show you what you want, what you don't want, what you will and will not accept. So it's all right now is if you are ready and that is my question to you, my fellow Tureans. Are you ready? The Wolf Spirit family card is coming out for you. Your family and your ancestors are very much watching out for you. They are handling this divine flow that is coming into you. But again, with the reverse Three of Pentacles, are you willing to accept help from someone else? Or are you going to stand on your high horse with this King of Cauldrons and say like, no, I can do it all. I have everything that I need right here. Even the King must admit that he is an island. He has isolated himself all the way out there in the middle of the ocean. Yes, he is in his element. Yes, he is in power. But he is also separating himself from everyone that could support him and save him if he is beginning to become overwhelmed. You simply do not have all of the knowledge. You have all the tools that you need. But what is important right now is for you to be aware that there is more to learn. For the next phase in your life, you have everything. And I'm stressing that because I, am, I realize that what I said could be a little contradictory. Or it could be taken as contradictory. You have everything that you need for the next step. All you have to do is allow yourself to go through that beginning phase again, to go through that full moment of, I'm not really sure where I'm standing here. Let me do my research. Let me talk to people and see what's going on and I'll feel better. And it's that anxiety of looking stupid or foolish or whatever it is that's keeping you in a stagnant place. It's time to let that go, my love. People will always judge you no matter what you do. Would you rather them judge you on something that you had never done before or judge you because you never even tried? And honestly, other people's opinions of you don't matter because at the end of the day, they're going to have to have their shit to say and it's not really going to affect you. However, we do take what other people say into consideration. You don't have to hold as much weight to it as some of us do but we do hear what people say and we do think about that yeah the knight of cauldrons came out when i was picking up the deck there is something that is being delivered to you you have to state on whether or not you are ready for the next and best phase of your life taurus because shit's gonna get wild <laughs> you gotta buckle up have a beautiful day my love